a 1996 commencement speech by Salman Rushdie about the author Salman Rushdie was born in India he is a british indian novelist and essayist he is popularly known for his second novel midnight's children 1981 and the fourth novel the satanic verses 1988 His style is mostly based on magic realism and historical reality. His most of the works are about diasporic, imaginary homeland, connection, disruption and migration between the people from the east and the west. He is also one of the influential post-colonial critics. Summary in English. Salman Rushdie as Indian writer shares his better experience with his students in the Brad College USA on the occasion of the commencement speech on the graduation day he was invited to Brad University for 1996 commencement speech Rusty addresses the members of the classes of 1996 he criticizes himself and the Cambridge University and shares his bitter experience of his on graduation day of 1968 with the students and also regrets for compromising with falsehood and injustice in the past rusty graduated from cambridge university in 1968 the year of great student protest he was connected with the protest although he did not take part in the protest himself Just a few days before the gravy and onion sauce all over the walls furniture clothes and recorder in the absence of rusty then rusty was accused of such working and declared to be disqualified for the degree it means unless he submitted the report of the incidents he was not declared eligible for his degree so he says although cambridge university prides itself for tradition of fairness and justice it slowly accused him of the mischief and made him pay up on the commencement day rusty went to the ceremony with defiant spirit in brown shoes which were not allowed he was immediately held and sent back to change his shoes he changed his shoes and returned few minutes later rusty decided to surrender in front of injustice he paid up the damage and compromise with injustice he bowed his head to the feet of vice chancellor there was no option for him he followed and did whatever they told him because the degree he was going to receive was the product of three extremely hard years he accepted the slavery and autocratic system finally he achieved his ba degree from cambridge university in 1996 rusty as a commencement speaker addresses the graduated students and shares all his experiences with the students he tells them not to accommodate with injustice and not to bow down their head to have their own rights he suggests that they should not tolerate if people accuse them of abusing gravy when they are innocent he requests them to stand up and fight for their rights and justice we have nothing good to learn from gods it is men and women who have made the world they have made it in spite of their gods human being have best express their humanity by defying the gods the gods are weakened by the show of strength whereas human beings grow stronger even if they are destroyed human being can be joyous creative competitive and loving too Finally Rusty suggests us that we human being must not bow our heads rather we must ignore the gods Summary in Nepali Is Nivarnama prasiddh Indian lekhak Salman Rusty le afno bigat ma snatak parda bhayeko tito satya lai dikshanta samaroh ma vidyarthi haru lai satne prayas gareka chan unle 1996 ma बार्ड कलेज में दीक्षांत समारोह में संबोधन का लगी निमंत्रणा थियो। उनले उपस्थित सब सदस्य संबोधन करद 
उनी आफै र आफूले स्नातक गरेको क्याम्ब्रिज विश्वविद्यालयमा दीक्षांत समारोहमा भएका र भोगेका अनुभूतिहरू प्रति आलोचित हुँदै उनले विगतमा गल्ती तथा अन्यायलाई सहेर पश्चाताप गरेको कुरा विद्यार्थीहरूमाज खुलस्त प्रस्तुत गरेका छन् रुस्तीले आफ्नो स्नातक क्याम्ब्रिज विश्वविद्यालयबाट सन् 1968 मा गरेका थिए उनले दीक्षांत समारोहमा भाग लिनु भन्दा केही समय अगाडि मात्र उनका बेनाम साथीहरूले उनको अनुपस्थितिमा उनको लुगामा पित्तामा र फर्निचरमा सबै माथि माथि भने जस्तै विभिन्न रङ तथा फोर चीजहरू फाल दिएका थिए यस्तो देखेर प्रशासनले रुस्तीलाई दोषीको आरोप लगाएर उनलाई स्नातकको प्रमाणपत्र दिन अयोग्य रहेको कुरा जानकारी गरायो त्यसैले उनले सबै प्रमाणहरू पेश नगरेसम्म उनलाई कुनै डिग्रीको मान्यता नदिने घोषणा गरियो इनै कारणले गर्दा उनी भन्छन् क्याम्ब्रिज विश्वविद्यालयले आफ्नो प्रशंसा तथा गौरव जति गाए पनि यो अन्याय तथा विभेदबाट मुक्त हुन सकेको छैन दीक्षांत समारोहका दिन रुस्ती खैरो जुत्ता लगाएर गए पनि उनलाई अनुमति दिइएन अन्त्यमा उनी पूर्ण फर्केर अर्को जुत्ता लगाएर मात्र अनुमति पाएको कुरा प्रस्तुत गर्दछन् उनले अन्यायलाई सहने निर्णय गरे त्यसैगरी उपकूलपतिको अगाडि रहेर उनको खुट्टा ढोग्न कुनै कसुर राखेनन् उनीसँग कुनै विकल्पहरू थिएन ठुलाले जे भन्थे उनले त्यही गरिदिए किनभने तीन वर्ष दुख गरेर पढेको प्रमाणपत्र पाउनका लागि उनले जे पनि सहनु पर्ने अवस्था सृजना गरियो उनले सन् उन्नाइस सय छयानब्बेमा यिनै कुराहरू दीक्षान्त समारोहमा आफूले भोगेको कुराहरू आदान प्रदान गर्दै अन्यायमा कहिले कोही पछि नपर्नु तथा आफ्नो अधिकारका लागि कसैसँग टाउको ननिउर्याउनु विद्यार्थीहरूलाई सुझाव दिन्छन् त्यसैगरी कसैले गल्ती नगरे गल्तीको आरोप लगाएमा त्यसको विरुद्ध सङ्घर्ष गर्नुपर्ने कुरा उनी बताउँछन् न्याय र अधिकारका लागि जहिले पनि निर्धक्क भएर अगाडि बढ्न सम्पूर्ण विद्यार्थीहरूलाई दीक्षान्त समारोह मार्फत सुझाव दिन्छन् त्यसैगरी रुस्तीले ईश्वरका बारेमा पनि आफ्ना कुराहरू प्रस्तुत गर्दछन् उनका अनुसार हामीले कुनै पनि राम्रा कुराहरूबाट ईश्वर प्राप्त गरेका छैनौँ भगवानहरू आफ्नो शक्तिले पछाडि परेका छन् भने मानिसहरू आफ्नो कमजोर हुँदा पनि बलियो रूपमा प्रस्तुत भएका हुन्छन् अन्तिममा रुस्तीले हामी मानव समुदायले ईश्वरको नाममा कहिले पनि आफ्नो शिर नजुकाएर ईश्वरलाई अवज्ञा गर्नु नै उत्तम मार्ग हो भन्ने कुरा बताएका छन् लिटरल कम्प्रिहेन्सन सलमान रुस्ती shares his bitter experiences of his own graduation day in 1968 Cambridge University USA on the occasion of commencement speech on the graduation day of students from Brad College in 1996 Rusty completed his graduation from Cambridge University in 1968 in 1996 he was invited at Brad College as the chief guest speaker on the graduation day Rusty reveals his own experiences to the students Before few days of graduation day Rusty's friends made something wrong where he was not involved but was accused of those things At last he had to pay as well as do everything what they told ordered him He had to bow his head in front of vice chancellor and make report as well as accept injustice He accepted injustice surrendered everything just to receive his BA degree He feels regret looking at his past experiences. He tells his students not to accept injustice, not to bow down the heads for their rights. Rather, encourages them to fight for their rights and justice. He also talks about God. God has done nothing good for humans. Human beings can love, help, unite with each other in the absence of God. Humanity exists in the absence of God, so we must ignore it. interpretation This essay is based on the commencement speech delivered by Salman Rushdie in 1996 where he shares his own bitter experience of his own graduation day of 1968 with his students when he was accused of not permitted work to be done 
Though he was innocent, he was declared to be disqualified unless he submitted all the reports. He accepted the slavery and autocratic system of Cambridge University just for achieving his BA degree. He claims that though Cambridge University prides on his fairness and justice, he was made to face such cruel injustice. So, he tells his students not to bow down their heads and accept injustice rather encourages them to fight for rights and justice. Similarly, he suggests them to defy God because their lies on love, help, and humanity in the absence of God. So, he claims to defiance is an inevitable and essential aspect of freedom and justice. Critical Thinking This essay is interesting and satirical too. Rusti suggests us that we should never bow our heads with injustice, falsehood, slavery, autocracy, and unfairness. Rather, we should always fight for the establishment of justice, freedom, and democracy. He also says that we must defy gods to bring humanity, unity, and love among people of the world. However, some ideas in the essay are controversial. It is suitable for the speaker to talk only about his own experience on such great occasion? What does he want, either pride or sympathy, by just expressing his bitter experiences of the past? Assimilation This essay has influenced me a lot. After reading this, I remember my school age. When I was a student of when I was the student of grade seven. One day I came to take my exam without dressing the uniform because I was so sick and returned back to house from hospital after a week. As I requested all those things that happened to my class teacher and headmaster, but they did not listen to me rather told me that I could be expelled by the just cause. Then I returned back to the house and put on uniform and took my exam after half hour late. I never forget this incident where I am in. Now let's discuss some questions and answer. Question number one. Dusti says that the colleges of Cambridge pride themselves on the ancient tradition of fairness and justice. Does he mean what he says or is he being sarcastic? Please answer your question. Rusti says that colleges of Cambridge pride themselves on the ancient tradition of fairness and justice. In fact, he is being sarcastic on the traditional system of college administration, organizing commencement days and distributing certificate. Rusti has to pay the college for somebody else mistreat in his room so that he was punished for not wearing right shoes and would be disqualified for degree if he had not accepted such injustice. It is true that Rusti credits his experiences at Cambridge University more than he credits his degree in history. He says, Throughout my life, no one has ever asked me what kind of degree I got or even if I have got one at all. I have to say it's been useless. Rusti regrets for compromising with falsehood and injustice in the past. He supplicates, bowing his head to the fact of injustice just for achieving BA degree. Therefore, he suggests his students never to bow their heads before falsehood, injustice, unfairness, slavery, and autocracy. Question number two. What does Rusti mean when he says that defiance is an inevitable and essential aspect of what we call freedom? Do you agree with him? Have we ever defied anyone? If so, please recount that specific episode of your own life. Answer. I partly agree with Rusty's on defiance is an inevitable and essential aspect of what we call freedom. Freedom begins with an act of defiance. We need defiance to enjoy our rights and freedom. We should defy those who suppress us and force us to compromise with injustice. We should never bow down our heads before falsehood, injustice, fairness, slavery, and autocracy. Similarly, we should defy God to create love, creativity, and humanity. On the other hand, 
defiance of all the orders, rules and regulations, organization results anarchy and chaos. Therefore, we must respect and obey certain rules, laws and systems which is for all common people. I have had a bitter experience in my life when I bowed my head in front of injustice and conservative system of the society. When I was studying plus two level, I had a good relation and love with Susmita, my classmate who was from lower caste. As we were classmates, we used to go and return back from college together. On holidays, I used to go to her house where all her family members used to love me a lot. I was so pleased with them. One day, I invited her to come in my house, but my family members and society ignored and criticized on our relation. Later, I was forced to leave that college and join in another college just because of caste discrimination. Question number 3 Despite his scathing criticisms of Cambridge and himself, is Rusty bitter or grateful for education system he received at Cambridge? Please support your answer with specific passages from the text. During his commencement speech on the occasion of graduation day at Brad College, USA in 1996, Rusty expresses that scathing criticism on Cambridge colleges and his own passivity upon unfairness and injustice. He makes a bitter satire against the college run by the traditional system, injustice, autocracy and slavery. He inspires his students never accept the injustice and autocracy but fight for their own rights and freedom. However, Rusty is very much grateful for education he received from Cambridge University. He says, Cambridge University where I was so happy for three marvelous years and from which I gained so much. He says that we learn to be tolerant and open to new ideas. The experiences he received from the Cambridge University are more useful and important. Finally, Rusty appreciates his experiences more than his degree from Cambridge University in the history. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to Nepal Online School for more videos. Thank you.